Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Essential Oils. And today we've got some perfume oils and some perfume sprays from the Fragrance Souk. So a week or so ago, a company called The Fragrance Souk contacted me on Instagram. They'd seen my Saint Celine video and they wondered if they could send me some perfume oils to review. I said yes, more than happy to, although perfume oils isn't normally the biggest thing that I do and I like sprays. Um, they said they would send some sprays through as well. So the Fragrance Souk, they are based in Birmingham. Uh, I think it's the, they're on the Stratford Road, they've got a shop. But they're mostly based on eBay and they've got their own website. I'll put a link to both their eBay and their website in the description so you can get all that information. So they have asked me to pop into the shop at some point, um, which I can't wait to do. Uh, I'll have to arrange that and go and have a look and see all of their different things that they've got. Um, in no way did they say, I want you to give a positive review, a negative review, anything. So everything that you see today is my own opinion. So the Fragrance Souk, they have a, a new perfume oil range from a company called SN Fragrance. I haven't heard of SN Fragrance, but I think they're supposed to be quite big in the Middle East. Um, and the Fragrance Souk are sole distributors in UK and Europe, and they do wholesale and retail. And the one thing I can say about these straight away is the price point. It is unbelievably competitive. So I'm just looking forward now to trying the oils and seeing if they're any good. So the Fragrance Souk, it's an unusual name. Well, apparently the Souk, S-O-U-Q, means market in Arabic. So that made a bit more sense, the Fragrance Market. But I'd never heard of them until they contacted me on Instagram. So I was really chuffed that they sent something through. And this is what came. So a small package. But... I'm really happy to get the package. So I've had a look in this package and there are four perfume oils and there are three perfume sprays. So let's get everything out and I can sort out which is which. So we'll take a look at the oils first. And the first oil that they sent is a Roll-On Attar and it's called Signature. And it's by Mina. Now, I've never heard of Mina before, Mina Fragrances. Uh, but apparently this is their best seller. And they've got a little roll on there. I think this is 8ml. And you can pick this up for just £3. So I find that an amazing price. So I'll just try the oil. So this is like a fruity floral. Quite ambery. I think the florals which are coming through, I don't quite get what they are. Rose maybe. I think there's jasmine in here. It's quite musky and it's quite ambery, which I really like. I think it's probably more feminine. But for three pound for an oil, that is just amazing value. Um, I really like that. It's got a really nice smell to it. It has got that Middle Eastern vibe, which I really enjoy that vibe anyway. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go on to the next one. Uh, in fact, the next three perfume oils are all from a company called Abir Al-Haram. 
and they do 20 fragrances in total and they've sent me three and these are 12 ml perfume oils concentrated perfume oils and these are just six pound each so this is what they come like and this is the first one legend Not a lot much more information on there. It's got Abir Al Haram in the top. And then there's some details on the back, but they put a label for their company on there. There's a barcode on the side. And that's about it. So these are shrink wrapped. The previous one didn't come shrink wrapped. So as you can see from the front, I really like the, the little discs down the side, different colours, really looks nice. Oh, and then you've got the details on the back. So Abir Al Haram is part of the SN Fragrance Group, as you can see from the back. So let's open it up and give it a smell, shall we? So... Very interesting the way that opens up. Here's the white pull. Oh, you just pull it out like that. Look at that. I quite like that. That's like really nice. This design is really nice. And you get your little oil bottle. She's got the legend on, and then you've got some. Arabic DLs on the back. Really like the cap as well. You don't normally get this much detail. Now I've noticed there's a little roll on in here. So I've got the roll on in. Nice little roll on. And we'll put this one over here. So straight away, I think I know what this is based on. It's got, it's definitely got uh, a Creed Aventus vibe. Now this would be nice as a roll on, and then I put my normal Aventus on, or I put some Club de Nuit Intense Man on, or one of the many other Creed Aventus clones that I've got, and then you just back it up with this oil. But I'll probably be making the room smell a lot better. Over here, I've got a Hamasi uh, humidifier, so Put some water in there, put a couple of drops in, and away we go. Just completely make the room smell of Creed Aventus. I don't mean it's exactly the same. Um, it's got a fresh citrus in there. I think it does have pineapple. It's not as woody, so you're probably talking more musky, ambery. But yeah, I like it. In fact, the more I'm wearing it, the more it's going away from Aventus. Picking up a hint of rose in there as well. I'm really happy with that. That is really, really nice. So the second one that I've got is called Blue. Now what I'll do, I'll take this off first so you can see. So this is blue now i have got a little bit of oil on it now that's because i've got oil on my fingers when i was putting the rollerball in so concentrated perfume oil 12 ml it's got the same detail in the top and you've got the same sort of information on the back so let's open this one up and let's have a look at this one i'll tell you what i am smelling good so it's got a similar thing inside and this time you've got the blue and as you can see there's the little roll on. So we'll put that in and we'll give this one a go shall we. 
So the roll is in, that's what it looks like, and then on the back, I don't know if you can see that detail. But I, I just, I love this little cap as well. It just sets it off really nice. So, with it being called blue, I'm expecting a bit of a, a blue experience. Oh yeah, and yeah, that's very aquatic. So I'm getting like a fresh aqua sort of feel with citruses. Definitely some florals in there. So this is like a fresh air sort of marine fragrance. So I think there's aldehydes in there. There's a bit of musk in there, but you're getting the feel as if you're down by the ocean and you're getting that ocean breeze in your face. That is really nice. And off the top of my head, I can't say it smells like anything in particular. That is really, really nice. So we'll move on to the last one. And the last one is called Oud Combody or Combody. So that's what it comes like. Amir Al Haram. And you've got similar details again on the back. I like the detailing on this one. The gold detailing on the red case. Um, and once again, it's a 12 mil perfume oil. And it looks, they, looks like they've all got the same insert in this like yellow style, and as you can see from that. So this looks a lot darker. Look at that. That juice even looks a bit misty. I've got a feeling this might be, I mean, for six pounds, you wouldn't expect it to have real ooding, but who knows? So that's what it looks like. Ood Cambodi, and then you've got the details on the back, Abir Al Haram. So I'll apply this to my other arm. Now with the word oud in it, you just never know what sort of a smell you're going to get. Because I have tried so many different smelling ouds. From the barnyardy to the really fresh and clean. Now that is strong. I like that. So that has got like a smoky feel to it. It's like a really rich smelling smoky oud. Oh, I do like that. That smells great. I, I really like all three of those. I mean, the Aventus one, Legend is a bit Aventus. Not quite. In fact, the more I'm smelling it, the more musky it's getting. So it's completely going away from Aventus now. Even the blue one, it's fresh, marine but you can tell there's a musk in there. But this oud, it's proper smoky, rich, really smells good. I really like that one. So, the company also sent me uh, free sprays. Now, they come in two boxes. So, the one spray comes under fragrance and fashion, and it's called Dark Excess. I'll open it up so we can 
So this one is called Dark Excess and you can see it says fragrance and fashion. Now looking at the other one, which is like a double box, you can see they've got a similar sort of look to them. Now, it's got some marketing and distribution stuff. It's got some information on the side. And I've never heard of this company. And this is a 30 mil Eau de Parfum. And once again, this cost six pound. And this is what it looks like. So six pound for 30 mil. And it's in a little sponge thing, which is what really good. And this is what the bottle looks like. So it's an eau de parfum. It's got the name on there. And then it's got like the FF fragrance and fashion. And then it's got the actual fragrance and fashion name on the back. A black cap, plastic. And you've got like a, a gold looking atomizer. So let's give this one a spray. Now Dark Excess, they have told me that this is supposed to smell like Oud Touch by Frank Olivier. Now I have got Oud Touch. And straight away you're definitely getting that vibe. That is really nice. It's like caramel, raspberry, orange. It's got that musky vanilla with like a little bit of a, a rose oud feel. That is really nice. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray the Oud Touch and see how it compares. So let's spray the Oud Touch. So they are slightly different, but it's definitely along the same sort of lines. Yeah, very nice, very, very nice. Really happy with that one. And that is Dark Excess. I love these little bottles. Just put them in your pocket, away you go. The last one is like a double pack. Um, it's called, well, on it, it says it's called Vacy, V-A-C-Y for men. Let me just get into it. So, Eau de Parfum, two times 30 mil. It's got some details on the back, including a QR code. You've got the details on the top and on the bottom. So this is once again is from Fragrance and Fashion. And it says fragrance is crafted in France. But I noticed when I was looking earlier, the website that it was listing was an Indian website, fragranceandfashion.in. So let's open this up. So I love the presentation on these. I love the way that they fit inside and they sit quite snugly. And in this one, we've got Red Deer and Blue Cruise. So we'll have a look at Blue Cruise first. Am I expecting a blue fragrance? Well, I was told that this smells like something called Titan Raw. No, I haven't smelt Titan Raw. I don't even know what Titan Raw is. So it's completely new to me. If someone has smelt it and what I get from it is similar lines, just let me know in the comments. Oh, 
that's interesting. Wow, that's going right on my nose straight away. That is strong. So for this double pack, it's £10, which I find astonishing that they can do this with the presentation for just £10. That is really nice. You're getting a blast of citrus. I think there's a few different things in this. It's quite fruity. It's like um, an aquatic feel to it, so it seems like quite watery. That is really, really nice. I can see me wearing this in the summer. It's getting a bit sweeter as it goes along. So you're getting a bit of like an Invictus sort of aqua sort of vibe. That is really nice. That is a thumbs up from me. So the last one is called Red Deer. And you can you might just be able to see that it's like a pinky coloured juice. I think the other one was slightly tinted. I don't know if you can see when you put all of them next to each other. They're all slightly different colours. This is more of a pink juice. So let's give this red deer a smell. Once again, I love these little bottles. So I was told that this smells like Paco Rabanne Black Excess. Now, for my sins, I have never smelled that. I don't know why I've never gone for the Excess range for by Paco Rabanne. I've not even like smelled them in the store. Just never appealed to me. There's certain lines which I've never touched, which I should do really. Even if it's just to smell them and see what they smell like. I like that. So that has got a brightness in there, but there's a lot more going on. Definitely got some lemon. I'm getting like um, a sage feel from it. There's some spices in here. Yeah, definitely picking up a hint of cinnamon. That is really nice. Not what I was expecting. It's quite woody, ambery. But it's sweet at the same time. I really like that. That's really, really nice. So I am absolutely chuffed with these. When you consider for those free oils and those free fragrances to buy them all, you were probably talking, in fact, there was four oils, wasn't there? So that would be 16, 19, plus 18, £37 for all of that. That's amazing. I can't get over that. I'm definitely have to go and visit their shop, um, have a good chat with them, see what they're about and find out a bit more about them. But that's it from me. All the details about the company will be in the description, as I said earlier. If you've tried anything from this company, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.